All right, the Blazers are in a zone. So this is how you get killed in a zone, when somebody's guarding nobody. If you're guarding nobody, you're leaving somebody. This player's got to bump Nurkic out here so that this player can step up and take Michael Porter so this player can stay here. Boom. Okay? But when you're, again, when you're guarding nobody, you leave somebody. Okay, they run Aaron Gordon off a down screen right here. Nurkic cannot be standing in no man's land. You got to get level to Jokic with your arms out so this so Aaron Gordon cannot curl. Guess what you allow Aaron Gordon to do? Okay, Josh Hart is doing a great job. Look at this is perfect. You're halfway between the ball and the three-point line. So this player needs to turn his body and force him into this help so we can stunt, get the dribble picked up, recover without moving our feet. What a joke. Okay, Josh Hart has to understand, if you have the middle of the zone, then you got to stay underneath Jokic because this player is guarding Aaron Gordon in the zone. Okay? Josh Hart's going to leave. That cannot happen. What is this Blazers player doing? Okay, the Nuggets get this ball right here. All right? So let's get back so that we can stay with Jokic. Let's not gamble towards the ball so now we give Jokic a wide-open dunk. Okay, you cannot spectate after you stunt at this drive here. Watch this Blazers player. Okay, he stunted at the drive. You get the dribble picked up. Get out to this player here. This player's going here, okay? Don't just stand and watch. Okay, so your man Jamal Murray is setting a cross screen. You have to be connected to your man Jamal Murray. I mean, the, look at this. If you're not, look what happens. Now they run him off a down screen. Look at the space. You have no chance to defend this down screen now. So now Jamal Murray's in the lane, draws a help defender LU. Why is this Blazers player standing in no man's land? You get to a body. Let's get over here and get to a body. But you're you're standing in no man's land, so that screws up the entire defense, and now you give up an open three. Can't lean toward... This is a down screen. You can't lean towards this screen this way. Look at Damian Lillard leaning towards the down screen. So now he's beat back door. That forces a late switch. Jamal Murray's wide open. Awful. Your feet have to be stationary away from the ball. If my feet are stationary, when this pass gets made, I can easily get out. Look at this Blazers player's feet. Look at how they're going inward. Now you're never getting back outward, and it's just Aaron Gordon right to the rim for a dunk. What is Drew Eubanks doing here? Watch this. So Aaron Gordon gets the rebound here. Stop. He's got the rebound. So sprint back. Now, look what, look what Drew Eubanks does. Stops. St get back! What, what on earth? What? It goes without saying that you cannot guard like this. You need to be in front of your man. What are you doing? Now you're going to get beat back door. But look at this. This player now has the position to seal you in the post. I mean, come on, man. Okay, again, you cannot stand in no man's land defensively. This is no man's land. You're not in help. You're not in the gaps. Just get up and be ready to guard. Okay, but you stand in no man's land. So now this player can get it and blow right past you. Communicate in transition. Nurkic has to say, I have ball. So this player knows that he needs to go with this Nuggets player here. When you don't communicate, two people guard the ball, and that's what happens. Such an unfair ask of Yusuf Nurkic. Why am I not up and hedging? When I hedge, I get Jamal Murray out here. Now I can have backside help, and if a skip pass is made, I can easily recover. Why am I asking Yusuf Nurkic to go to the ball and then recover onto a two-time MVP? It's just, it's, it's nonsense is what it is. What is Yusuf Nurkic doing here? Okay, you have to defend this impending ball screen. I don't know if you're in drop coverage, if you're switching, you're hedging. Not guarding a ball screen is not a choice. Blazers are not playing defense here. The, giving Jamal Murray a wide open three is not defense. Get up and hedge. Nurkic, uh, Jokic has no place to go to. The backside defender's right here. But this is called not playing defense. That's not defense. This is way too far inward right here. Right now, this player's left foot should be parallel to the block. It's not. Okay, so this is called double teaming. The other problem, not that it matters, is look at his feet. Look at how they're going inward. So you're never getting back outward. Why am I giving Jamal Murray the lane? Why am I not hedging and playing defense? Now I push Jamal Murray out here, backside defender right here. 
Okay, if a skip pass is made, this player can easily recover. Or if you really want to, this player can go here and this player can go here. Either way, why am I giving Jamal Murray the lane and open runners? Hey, Damian Lillard cannot be slowing down. You have to be sprinting back. What is Damian Lillard doing? Josh Hart has the ball. That is so late, so much laziness. What causes this player here to just totally fall asleep on his man? Look at this. This is you falling asleep. Stop. Look at this space. You just fell asleep on your man. I mean, that's embarrassing. All right, so Jeff Green gets hurt on this play, okay? You know, I feel bad, but, like, the Nuggets don't call timeout. So it's right that this player comes to double team. But this player's ex expecting you to be doubling right here. Oh, he's playing this ball handler like you're doubling. So you cannot just go leave after that. Okay, we have two Portland Trailblazers in this zone guarding nobody. You're going to get shredded that way. This player obviously needs to come here. This player needs to go here and push this player into the corner. When not one but two players are guarding nobody in a zone, now your zone's going to be scrambling and you're just going to be giving up open jokes threes in this case. Okay, I don't understand this. Da this is a turnover. Denver has the ball here. So if you are Damian Lillard, sprint back. Okay? What wh what what is Damian what? Okay, so if you are hedging this ball screen right here, you cannot allow Nikola Jokic to turn the corner. Stop. You've got to keep hedging, okay? You you're by you leaving, you're letting him turn the corner. Okay? Backside help would be right here on a pick and pop. Okay, I, I what? Th that's not acceptable. If you double the post, this goes without saying. This player has to rotate down. If the skip pass is made here, you rotate here, here, here. But you don't get the first rotation down. So what are we even talking about? I am never leaving Nikola Jokic uh, isolated on an island. Never, not ever. Get this player over here and double. All right, we're always doing that. This player can kind of cheat over here. If he throws a skip pass here, boom, you're here. This player needs to then get up the line because you're going to the second option. And then the man that doubles pushes this player here. You leave Nikola Jokic one-on-one, -on -one, bad things are guaranteed to happen. Stop fronting the post. You've got to get underneath this player here, okay? Jokic, battle for real estate. Initiate contact. If you front the post, look at this. Now this player's going to go here, and you're, you've just lost your backside defender. So now look what happens. How easy. Okay, obviously this is a total mismatch with Damian Lillard guarding Nikola Jokic. So this player comes to double as he should, but you got to stay. Okay, you can't leave. This doesn't become not a mismatch once you leave. This player's got to skyrocket over here. Now, if this swing pass is made here, this is where Jeremy Grant's standing in no man's land, okay? Jeremy Grant's got to get over here and be ready to rotate. Rotate, and then this player would then come up here. But, I mean, again, this isn't any less of a mismatch once you leave that double.